CCTV News gathers information from town meetings and events, departmental updates, and COVID-19 here in York County and Berwick. BCTV News will be shown daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Comcast channels 95 and 22, as well as streaming at www.berwicktv.org. It will also be available on demand and via our YouTube channel. On Monday, August 17th, Berwick firefighters responded to a forest fire off from Long Swamp Road. According to Chief Plant, the fire burned two to three acres and due to the drought conditions, burned deep into the root system. The department has been out several times fighting flare-ups and securing the area. The Berwick Fire Department is working with the Forest Service District Ranger to determine the cause, although it appears to be accidental. The area is frequented by ATV riders and walkers. With all of Southern Maine and New Hampshire in moderate drought conditions, the Chief urges everyone to be careful outdoors with anything that could spark a fire. The Berwick Fire Department was aided by departments from South Berwick, North Berwick, Lebanon, Dover, Rochester, Summersworth, and Rawlinsford. Elliott provided coverage for the Berwick station while the Berwick firefighters were at the fire scene. The Maine Department of Environmental Protection continues the fight against invasive aquatic plants in Northeast Ponds and Milton Three Pond. On August 25th, the DEP will be applying an herbicide to dense beds of invasive plants while manually removing smaller infestations. This is being done to restrict the spread of the plants in the ponds and to prevent it from reaching the Salmon Falls River. The DEP is asking people to not boat or swim in the area during the treatment. For further information, contact John McFedrin at 207-215-9863 or email john.mcfedrin at maine.gov. Cemetery road paving has been completed. Berwick Public Works will continue replacing driveway culverts and ditching and the contractor will be placing gravel on the shoulders. The section of Pine Hill Road from the Water Tower to Worcester Road will be reclaimed and paved along with the section of Cranberry Meadow Road between Worcester Road and Cemetery Road. BCTV wants to remind residents if you receive a call from someone identifying themselves as from Social Security or other government agencies, do not call back or give them your private information. Recent scams threatening arrests and jail time have been circulating. Government agencies will not phone or email with threats, but will contact you through the mail. If you receive any calls or emails like this, contact your local authorities. As inform us to suspend your social security number on an immediate basis, as we have received suspicious trails of information in your name and social security number. The moment you receive this message, I need you to get back to me on my department division number that is 940-226-4921. I repeat 940-226-4921. Now, if I don't hear a call from you, we will have to issue an arrest warrant under your name and get you arrested. So, get back to me as soon as possible. Thank you. At the MSAD 60 board meeting on August 17th, the board of directors approved school beginning on September 8th with a hybrid model and or fully remote. They want to remind parents that should health and safety conditions change, either from state guidelines or local indicators, they are prepared to implement full remote learning for all grade levels. In a letter sent to parents, they suggest preparing a backup plan in the event MSAD has to implement the fully remote plan. Other recommendations for students returning to school include 
Face masks and coverings are required. Review the importance of this requirement in the school setting and on the bus. Have your child practice wearing a face mask each and every day. Slowly increase the time your child is wearing the face mask throughout the day. For older children, please stress the importance of wearing the face mask and practicing social distancing. These two areas are significant in allowing us to go forward in keeping our schools open and with additional in-person learning. Work on effective hand washing strategies and how to use hand sanitizer. Both of these will be reviewed in school, but practicing this at home will help establish good routines and efficiencies. Please be aware if you plan to travel to locations other than the five states cleared by the main CDC, there is a 14-day quarantine upon return. The five states include New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. For more information, visit maine.gov slash COVID-19. Everyone, my name is James. I'm the planner for the town of Berwick. I'm here to talk about property taxes. Um, it's no surprise to you that uh, property taxes are the number one issue for the residents of, of Berwick. And I'm here to talk about what the town can do and, and is planning on doing for the next 5, 10, 15 years into the future as the town is currently working on our comprehensive plan. So where we're at with the property tax share is that 87% of the property taxes come from our residents. We probably want to get that percentage closer to 25%. And we have a long way to go to get to that point. Um, commercial and industrial right now is about $67 million of combined value. If we triple that, that gets us to 202 million, which would be about 23%. Even doubling it would get us to 16.7%. So there are, there are good things to share with you today that um, even though tripling seems like a daunting task, with downtown development, that's gonna be a good chunk where over the next five or so years, you'll see 10, 20, maybe even $30 million of investment in, in, in property value. And over the course of many, many years, the idea is for it to continue to add in value as new buildings get rehabbed or added to more commercial endeavors. And of course, there will be residential components and green spaces and everything that goes along with the downtown. So. Um, based off our comprehensive plan survey, we know the tax burden is the number one issue, and actually the top five issues are all related. Number two, lack of businesses. Three, blight downtown. Four, lack of downtown spaces, and there's not much to do. If we actually get a downtown going, that takes care of all five issues or really addresses those top five issues. So where can we find added development um, other than downtown? Route 4 is our next, our next area we've really looked at, uh, how we can increase value there. Route 9, Route 236, and I, and I really invite you to think creatively on where else we can add value downtown to help offset the taxes and, uh, and keep Berwick going uh, well into the future. So you can email me at planning at berwickmain.org or give me a call. I'm, I'm extension 124 with the town hall. Thank you very much. COVID-19 cases in York County stands at 724 with 646 confirmed and 78 probable cases. There have been 14 deaths and 82 hospitalizations. 627 people have recovered. Cumulative, probable, and confirmed cases for Berwick is 14. BCTV News is a recap of meetings, events, and town happenings. If you have a news item that you think we should cover, send your request to bctv at berwickmaine.org. BCTV is completely funded through franchise fees from Comcast. We are a nonprofit entity and we are bound by the rules established for public access stations by the FCC. Berwick residents who subscribe to Comcast 
may watch our public educational videos on Channel 22 and our government meetings, departmental, and informational videos on Channel 95. Both channels run 24-7 and are streamed at www.berwicktv.org.